This video is about how to make sure you are working on things that are important for you and your business. So I invite you to bring to mind a task, a project, or an activity that you've been putting off in your business, but that you know if you gave focused attention and time to it, that it will move your business forward. So maybe it's a writing project of some kind. Maybe it's a planning of something. Maybe it's reaching out to a referral partner or prospective clients. Maybe it is cleaning or organizing something. Okay, a simple way to make sure that you stop putting it off and do it is to schedule an appointment with yourself. Half an hour, hour, hour and a half, four hours, whatever uh, it helps you to focus on something. Schedule an appointment with yourself in your calendar to be working on that thing. Now, I know you might say to me, George, I've tried scheduling appointments with myself. I don't keep them. Something always comes up. Uh, I get distracted on doing something or I, 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 I fulfill other people's requests instead. And in this case, I want to ask you, do you treat your client appointments in that way? You set an appointment with a client. Say three weeks from now, you're going to meet with their, your client. When the time comes, do you go, gosh, you know, my spouse wants me to do something, my children, my grandchildren, my business partner, something's come up, I don't feel like it today, just don't feel up to it. I hope you don't do that. <laughs> uh, you probably don't. Now, if something really does come up with a client uh, or uh, that might conflict with a client appointment, you reschedule with your client, right? But you don't reschedule, you don't keep rescheduling, you don't say, all right, let's try it next week. And then it doesn't come, it doesn't, you know, you don't feel like it. Let's try another week. No, you make sure you keep your client appointments. You know, you, you take a stand to make sure you keep your client appointments, right? If someone else wants to do something at that time slot, you say, no, I've got a client appointment at that time, right? You don't just say, oh, sure, why not? I'll just reschedule the client. No, you, you, you treat your client's appointments with respect. So I'm inviting you to treat appointments with yourself with that kind of respect because you are your most important client. So think about how you prepare for client appointments and how you are during the client appointments. You probably take a few minutes to prepare for that appointment. You, as the client comes in or beforehand, you maybe you take some time to breathe, set an intention, be present. Why not do the same thing with appointments with yourself, right? And during the client appointment, you don't check email, uh, constantly, you don't like surf Facebook or look at this web link or that web page. You are there with a the client and you're thinking of ideas to help them. You are present in your whatever healing or, or coaching capacity you do with them. Do the same with yourself. And you might also say, well, George, I've tried this so much time. I, I just keep putting, blowing off appointments with myself. Okay. I want you to invite you to start simple. So don't try to schedule, all right, I'm so excited about this idea. I'm going to schedule five hours for the next you know, seven days. No, S try just scheduling one hour this week to work on something you've been putting off, but you know is important and treat that as a client appointment. It's a client with the appointment with them, your most important client, which is you. And then take a stand. No matter if someone says, oh, you want to go do this, you want to go do that, or you don't feel like it, treat it like a, cl an, a client appointment, an important one and see what happens. And you need practice to treat yourself with respect and treat your own schedule for, with yourself with respect. And as you schedule one and meet it, then schedule another one the following week and meet that. And soon you'll start treating your appointments with yourself with that kind of respect that you deserve. So I hope you try this out. Let me know how it goes. Any questions, I'm always welcome to it. And until the next video, be well.